Okay, we have finished talking about IOSAT and IOTOP. Um, 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 so basically, the first four commands here are commands that let you look at things like uh, your CPU usage and um, your memory usage and even doing it on a per process basis. The next couple commands having to do with I.O are really much more useful for looking at your disk usage and your I.O usage to see whether uh, you're just accessing things off the hard drives faster than the system can support. And at a certain point, you know, it doesn't do you any good to have more memory. Well, more memory may help because you can cache stuff, but more CPU won't help because you can't get things off the disk fast enough. Okay. The last commands we're going to um, mention here are uh, not really part of this this course per se, but they're relevant because um, they are system monitoring commands. TC dump is a command that will basically let you view um, anything and everything going across your network. Right now, there doesn't seem to be much. Let's go here and let's see if um, OK. There we go. So it just dumps everything that goes in and out of your network, which means you don't have a lot of security because you can read anything going in and out of your network. That's why that's one reason we encrypt traffic. OK. Another way of doing this is a command called Wireshank, or Wireshark, which is a graphical way of, of uh, doing the same thing. Um, and it used to be called Ethereal. Um, Oops, that's open to preview. Uh, well, I won't bother going into it. Um, there we go. There we go. And it's now looking at uh, stuff going in and out of my ETH0 network card. And it does it on a very on a very pretty basis where I, I'm given a lot of ways to look at things going in and out of the network and analyze um, and actually do some analysis on them as they come in and out of the network. Um, this command used to be called Ethereal. It's now called Wireshark. And it's in um, the menus and stuff are just really different than they used to be. So I'm not, um, I, I've always got to actually read the thing nowadays where before I knew it well enough that uh, the buttons came automatically. OK. And that's a fun command that um, you can have fun with. Now, the last one, which we won't go into at all, I don't even know if it's up on my system at the moment, is called Kismet. And what Kismet is for is for sniffing um, wireless signals. And it does sort of the same thing that Wireshark or TCP dump does, only it does it. Um, um, or in a wireless environment. Um, and there are other tools for monitoring wireless, um, 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 your wireless environment as well. Um, they're beyond the scope of this class, so I'm not going to go into them, but um, they do exist. So that is a summary of the um, system monitoring commands. Some of them have a continuous mode. Most of those on the bottom line tend to have a continuous mode uh, with them. Most of the ones on the uh, line above that do not have a continuous mode. Um, but they can all be very useful in monitoring what's happening on a system and determining, you know, if it's slowing down and just not performing right, why it's not performing right, whether it's I.O. usage, whether it's CPU usage, whether you should 
And and then the natural thing is, should I buy more CPU? Should I recommend that they buy more disk? Should I recommend that they put in some sort of oh uh, fancy fast disk like maybe um, um, oh um, disk on a chip um, um, or something of that type? Or the other thing that most people forget, but they shouldn't forget, is is the software performing well? Should we be using different software that will perform better? Is it written in a reasonable language? Does it use proper algorithms? Is the mathematics correct? Um, in many cases, you can do miracles by modifying the software. Um, without changing the hardware. Sometimes it's more practical to change the hardware. Sometimes it's more practical to change the software. Um, that depends on your situation. That is, um, with that, that finishes everything I had to say about Chapter 9. So bye-bye.